Welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 4. Oh god, did I even check down here? I did not. Let's see. Uh, yesterday we made an ungodly amount of strawberry jam. As you do. It's a COVID project, do you understand? Um... No, that's if I made a bunch of sourdough. Everyone was making sourdough, like, in the first couple months of the pandemic that is still going, regardless of what the fucking U.S. government yes. wants to say. Oh. Dang. Uh, I gotta clear out the field so the actual grasses I want will spawn. Tomorrow will be a new day, a new season in the game. Of course, tomorrow is a new day. Um, which means I can spend, at this point, probably like 10% of my money on seeds for new harvests. regular stone. Alright. Yeah, still too much fodder. <laughs> Oops. Man, I was freaking out there. God, let's keep storing things away. Um, there was something I wanted to make that took a rigid horn, and I don't remember what it was. Heavy shield is the next shield upgrade, and it takes a shoulder piece. Uh, protector also takes a shoulder piece. Headgear makes, like, no difference. Uh, bone boots are a 9 defense upgrade. I mean, I might as well, because that's going to be another 10. Yeah. Give me the better armor. Is it a weapon? It's probably like a high-end spear or something. Yeah, Kareska. Yeah, sure. I can make the plus version. Let's see, five staff takes scales. of progress, considering how much of the day I spent making jam. But... Okay. 
Zex territory. Back we go. Yeah, look at that damage difference. Alright, so I need to check the right hand branch here. Oh, I get it. I was supposed to get down there. Oh, that's the friendly silver wolf. Sorry, friend. Oh, while I'm here. Supposed to like laser it or something? Or... No, because it doesn't pass through the trees. I legitimately did not think that would be the case. Let's see. These are blue switch balls. Thousand gold. That's not even more than the freaking chest in the previous dungeon. Okay. So what I'm supposed to do? Hit the switch and just circle around this way. So I can't actually check out what's behind the blue. That's a different blue, because before I pressed it, that wall was up. Okay. Yeah, I can get over there. So if there's a... to weigh these down? I can. Huh. Weird. But okay. Steel heart for great swords. Let's take that back. And take that back. And take that back. It's another blue switch, but not the one that I can do anything about. So I need to have the other blue switch pressed or something? I can go through here, though. 
has a bunch of white grass. And a green thing probably hiding a chest. My god. The backtracking is real in this dungeon. So, you've finally come this far. Can't let you go any farther, you understand. Lord Ethelbert is furious enough as it is. Your destiny ends here, because if yours doesn't, ours will. Ugh. <laughs> I have a secret plan this time. Check it out. I borrowed a rune sphere from Lord Ethelbert. With this, we can wield the ancient magic used by the Earthmates. Hey, wasn't that supposed to be a military secret? It's fine. As long as we win, it'll be plenty secret. Omnigate, come forth! And... Fuse! Ancient Magic Etherlink! So it's a Zex Dragon and a Zex Palm. It's... Hey, no fair! Why do I have to be this monster? I need one that's good at distant attacks. No complaints here. Whatever, this works. Let's do this! Rematch against the Zex Dragon! It, it's not going to be hard. Rune Sphere. <laughs> Getting decked by an old man. Utterly useless, all of them! Ooh. Still alive, Earthmate. I must say, you're impressive. After all, you managed to defeat the native dragons, even if they were just copies. Blessed. What was... <laughs> My power granted to me by the rune spheres. Come follow me and I'll show you something most interesting. As an Earthmate, I'm sure you'd rather enjoy the sight. Although, I don't have to tell you to follow me. You're pursuing me, after all. <laughs> you know, chasing you around really wasn't half bad. <laughs> We've been defeated. Well, I guess there's no soldiering to do anymore. Dish. I'll hold on to that, sure. Cave with two diamond nodes and a gold node. Deathstalker scorpions. Scorpions, of course, have lower magic defense, but also, like... You no, know, they just have high physical defense. They don't have, no, they don't have low magic defense. Also, we're clearly on the same, like, plane as the entrance, even though we fell, if you look at the map kind of funny. Some mystery potions. And not else. Just get me some antidote grass already. Huh? 
Oh, hey, there's a bird's nest above my door. Hope everyone grows up to happy, healthy adults. and I mean might as well upgrade my armor and uh, shield while I'm here even if it's gonna cost me some RP from layers of silver. Big and tough, it has a high chance of resisting critical hits. And protector, equipment that prevents accidents before they happen. much is left, so let's just go until we get tired. Because a yawn is a legitimately good indicator of, okay, go back home. I'm always in need of glue. flowing in here from somewhere, though. No rock beta, sour drop, orange, and can. Oh, uh, we're doing this. Tomato seed? We're doing the all Majora's Mask maze game. a shortcut. Oh, this is going to be a lot more done. Though. Hey! Gold wolves. Or hunter wolves in this game, I guess. would work against them. That or there's just going to be a way to stop the pillars from rising later on. Which is increasingly my guess. of a better term format for this section. Little wizard. Oh no. Magic 
crystal. <gasps> These things. There's a family portrait of three carved in this. Okay, so I need to have a third monster with or a second monster with me to pass through that. I will. Uh, so that's another Rune Factory 2 homage. Those altars. Um, they were kind of your main quest in Rune Factory 2 in the second generation. Uh, fulfill requirements and offer items and um, or just fulfill conditions otherwise. Alright, we got another freaking shortcut. So that's actually a good place to stop for the night. Um, nothing I feel compelled to cook. I guess make some fruit juice, because it's good RP in one spot. And... Manag. One corn on the cob. Yes. Oh. Oh, yes, Mr. Volcanon has asked me to fix Maya Bridge. What? Maya Bridge? You can fix that? Mr. Volcanon told me all about how to do it, so it should work out just fine. Um, are you sure that's all it'll take? Won't you please come help me? It won't take long at all. Uh, not right now. Alright, please let me know when you have some time. I'll worry about that another time. Uh, they are still tired? I'm gonna have the woolies do it. So even more reason to just kind of wait around. start some stuff over there like get a monster oh actually while I'm thinking about it silver uh, you come with me oh you're low HP right. so then I should be able to just do that and be fine I'm gonna wait until 8 so I can ship some stuff out I should get my old gear out of the uh... Storage box. On that note. I never get an orange ribbon. That's not what's important right now. Uh, no, a penguin down is already in there, so gold boots. And a diamond. Good stuff. I'm 
by good, I mean newly registered. Jesus Christ. seeds at that? Oh, those are level 10. Actually, that's really good. I should not. In fact, I should store some things away before we head on out. Back to the Zex territory. Porter should be able to just uh, broken hilt. I think I've gotten that from like a prize box, but never actually. Oh, that might require marriage. It might be a literal family. Like, bring your kid and your spouse. with magic power is necessary for wizards. sensation beyond the comprehension of ordinary mortals. Omnigate! <laughs> this dragon is dull. Ordinary. But I happen to have part of a native dragon on hand. Behold! Etherlink! Do you see now? I have the power to create native dragons at will. Not even the Earthmates can accomplish this. Now, let the show begin. I assume that Aquamelian. Oh, this is like a legit Aquamelian, too. I think. I didn't get hit with whatever 
paralyzing attack that was. Well done, Earthmate. You've even defeated the native dragons I created. That just makes things more interesting. Come. <laughs> I've prepared a perfect setting for you, Lest. I'll be waiting high above the clouds. Not so fast. Doug. <laughs> Don't touch me with your filthy hands, wretched dwarf. How unpleasant. I'll be waiting with... In the walls of my floating empire, Earthmate. Of course, your invitation is quite mandatory. Come of your own volition or I'll make you come without it. What does that mean? You'll find out soon enough. I'll torture and torment all Earthmates until they become completely extinct. Okay? Fine. I've got something for you. What? A rune sphere? <laughs> I stole one from him just now. It serves him right. Doug! You're still recovering, Doug. I know you must feel some sense of responsibility for what happened, but you need to draw the line. We'd all be devastated if anything should happen to you. West, Doug! I heard we'd taken back one of the rune spheres. Yeah, thanks to Doug. It'd be best to place it in a rune spot as soon as possible. But it could be stolen again if we don't post a full security detail around it. Once the reinforcements arrive, there should be enough. What's happening? West! Jiao Pai? There's something in the sky! It seems best to go up to the observatory. Look over there. What's that? I'm not sure. All I do know is that it's attacking us. Calm down. I think you need to calm down. There's no doubt about it. That bears them all the markings of a Zex Empire construct. Floating Empire. The spheres must be... I think you're right. Either way, we can't ignore it. I agree. Let's take the airship up there. I'll meet you at the airship once I report to the royal capital. Last, I'll start attacking you the moment you get near the Empire. Not that I'm trying to stop you at this point, but I just want to make sure you're ready for what lies ahead. Will you come with me? Yes. Of course. Please come see me before you board the airship. Fenty. Let's take the airship to the Floating Empire. Uh, you guys take a break. You are hurting badly. Hello. I need to... Welcome. Sometimes you don't even notice when it's snowing, even when it piles on your head. Oh, really? I heard that strange story from a traveler. She said that an island had suddenly appeared in the sky. It's the same day Xiao set a new record for number of plates broken in a 24-hour record. Or period. It's a bad omen, I tell you. I did it! So relaxing. Hello. Hello! Hello. Floating your pot. Must be cautious, as literally anything can happen. How underleveled is she for this? <laughs> oh, oh god, she has full equipment. Um, Forte, let's prep you a bit and then start leveling you a bit. Actually, yeah, uh, you should catch up on levels real quick. So make you a wind cloak. Magic shield. I don't really have, I guess, a white. I make two because a white ribbon is actually really good defensively. Holy crap! Not like 
doing gifts and giving giving you equipment. So that should update your gear, right? It does. Nice. Okay, boots and accessory. I'll just make you some gold boots. I'd rather not use the freaking broken hilt. Considering I've been getting blade shards. I can find them. Or I guess an arrowhead works too. And something for your accessory slot. Um, I'm just going to give you the gold bracelet. Blade short. Thank you. Get freaking katana. So that should be her in pretty modern gear. As for your level, uh, let's go ahead and do something about that. Let's go back to Zex Empire because I'm confident in my ability to handle the enemies here and just give her some free levels. So she started at 13. Can you gain more than one level at once? Yes. Shot there, Forte.
what it feels like to play Disgaea. joking about this guy, but this game is almost a little bit Disgaea-y with how it levels up. Plus, I myself am getting a couple levels here. We broke the 100 level mark unceremoniously. Um. Oh, that was her charging. I think. around 60, but I'm just going to spend the rest of the day at, here at this point, because we definitely do not have enough time to make meaningful progress into the floating empire. Which is a cool-ass name. For an air fortress dungeon. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the blue switch at this point. The gate does not spawn fast enough to effectively grind, though. This is two episodes in a row with some very grindy crap in the back end of it. I'm not apologizing, just I'm aware. Ah! Yeah. 
Nobody will watch this far in to know that my favorite Far Cry game is still Far Cry 2. a small instant kill chance. That's hilarious. So I recently played through, well, I recently finished um, the 2.0 A Realm Reborn content in Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I understand why people say that even the vanilla game has a particularly good story for an MMO. Though apparently its expansions are, like, particularly good for an RPG in general. So I'm excited for that, like, story-wise. Mechanically, I... Final Fantasy is a very simple game, mechanically. Um... But to me, that's what makes it great. I don't have to learn, like, super niches of abilities. Like, I didn't know that frickin', um... Not interject, the other tank command. One of them makes it so that, you know, if an enemy attacks you, they get hit with slow. I didn't have to know that through level 50. The final dungeons were a bit disappointing, but that's more just the fact that, you know, people skip through them and kind of just chat through them on their uh, leveling roulettes because you can't skip the cutscenes specifically to not screw over new players who have seen the cutscenes for the first time and then jump in late with a stack of enemies at the teleporter. Like, I understand the design that leads to... Forte? I understand the design that leads it to be the way it is. But it does also end with, like, there's the real final boss, and then there's a beat-down, you know, final boss. And then the post-game unlocks, where there's, like, hard modes for every story dungeon, except the last two, I think. EX prot is for all of the primals you fight in the main story. Uh, relic weapons for every class in the Realm Reborn. Which require the Paladin one, because I leveled the Paladin through the back half, because I realized I was not having fun with Sol Solmaturge Black Mage. They are not good in Realm Reborn. <laughs> um, just, and then there's all the patch quests for leading into Heaven's Word. Ostensibly, where it gets good. Um, I think we're good with Forte. Yeah, 76 is plenty, I think. Do more festivals because it's uh, fall. Uh, let's activate fish variety contest and handicraft contest. So we have our fall festival set up. Yeah, grinding uh, 
the Paladin Relic quest requires you to have 50 Blacksmith, which is an entire process in itself with intertwining stuff. But, uh... Next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 4, um, I think we might start the final dungeon of Arc 2. See you guys then.